It is Friday. It's Wonderful Friday, and it's also Offend Lots of People Friday. I'm just kidding. I'll probably offend people every day I'm on my podcast. But uh, uh, you ready? Listen to the whole podcast be you, before you all freak out on me. I'm going to offend a lot of people I know, and uh, but then just listen, and maybe you'll be less offended. You ready? Uh, if you coach girls soccer or women's soccer and you're a man, you are a little bit maybe on the side of uh, you're a sicky. I'm calling you out, men. Little gross perverts. Uh, now I'll scale it back a little bit. I coach, I coach girls soccer at Millennium High School. I coach Phoenix College men's soccer. I've coached uh, boys soccer at Shadow Mountain, boys soccer at Awafria. I've I've coached club soccer, ODP on the girls' side. I've I've coached uh, women. Um, I've I've been all over the place with coaching on both sides. But here's the gross part. You ready? The gross part are the men, and they're out there. We all know who they are. The ones that only coach girls. Only. They'll bypass teams. Say, oh, no, no, no. I can't take the U10 girls. I, I, I coach. Uh, or excuse me, U10 boys. I, I, coach, I, I can coach U10 girls. You are gross and sick and shouldn't be coaching. I coach based on availability. I prefer coaching the men's soccer program uh, uh, or the boys because it is more difficult. Because I like taking the difficult way. And I'll explain the, the difference in a second. But uh, to reiterate, if you are a coach and you only coach females, you are a coward, you are gross, and you, I won't want you around my, my daughters. Weirdo. Uh, so, yeah, I offended a lot of people just now. Um, so here's the deal. Here's my two cents on it, which doesn't mean anything. You don't, don't, don't be offended. Um, but a lot of flipping weird people out there. A lot of weird people. But, and everyone should be outed on that. If you see tendencies, eliminate them. Eliminate, eliminate them. Get rid of them. Uh, here's the difference, in my opinion. So I, I coach Millennium Girls Soccer. And if, if they like you, like if they respect you, if, if they like appreciate your, your knowledge and you're nice to them and they, they truly like you, like they, they, they fight for you. They'll do everything you ask. It's like the easiest coaching gig ever if they like you. And of course, if you have talent, that, that helps. So the Millennium Girls Soccer if you like this podcast, you can tune into my podcast five days a week, Monday through Friday. I'm available to you to entertain you about the wonderful world I live in with coaching soccer, just coaching in general. You can tune in. How I do this, it's free. Not only is it free, I can get, I get paid. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started team last year it was the best season we ever had it was the most enjoyable season um, I did change the way I coach um, quite a bit and I was friendly friendlier I was I was less um, giving uh, coaching advice you know I, I was just more about being positive I was just extremely positive positive and they did everything I asked I didn't have to like re-explain things they're like okay They, they just they just do it now on the men's side and the boy side they prefer the college boys I'll just the college men or wannabe men um, they're different you, you know what you have to do with them you have to sell to them every day of why they can respect you and they won't do what you ask you have to convince them every day to do what you ask it's like you are you have to be the best motivational uh, speaker of all time, which I, I'm, I'm not good at. I, I just don't work hard enough on trying to do that kind of presentation. But 
Yeah, you, you have to like sell to them every day. Every flipping day, it is so time consuming and mentally tough. There is a difference. It, it, if I was gonna coach men or women in college, and, and I had the choice of, of two jobs, I would take the women's side if I want it easy. I would totally do it that way because it is easier. It is. The tactics are the same. The um, recruiting is the same. But how you interact is different. You have to, sh- you have to show a different level of, of respect and appreciation. Um, you, you should do that for both. I mean, I've, d- I've done that with the, the men's program at PC. There's just nothing there. Like, it, they won't play for me if I treat them, treat them the same like I do on the, the girl side. I have to, like, it's constant. It's constant. It's just completely different. It's so hard. But you coaches out there, and you know who you are, and you know who uh, those coaches are. Oh, I, co- I coach girls. That's, that's my focus. I mean, you, you coach girls. You're a coward. It's easier. It's easier. And I get there's, there's problems to everything. I get that. But I coach both. I know the difference. It is much easier to get uh, a girls team to play for you than it is a boys or men's team. Men's team, they, 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 they'll just leave you after a year. The girls, they'll, they'll stay put. They'll fight for you. You know, you could have a losing season and they'll stay with you. Not the boys, not the men's. They'll leave you real quick unless you're selling nonstop. So uh, I hope I offended a lot of people. I hope I outed a lot of people. So if you know um, coaches like that, that oh, I only coach girls. Red flag, uh, future pedophile, you're gross. Stop doing it. And I'm going to close this Friday with I'm sorry I offended a lot of people. And I'm out.